Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your man, the TV guy with an emergency update. This app right here, known as Terrium TV, well guess what? It has crashed and burned. So, what are we going to do next? Well stay tuned in this video, we're going to show you a fix and we're going to explain exactly what happened. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Now, you may be wondering what the heck is happening to my movies and TV shows inside of Terrarium TV. Well, we're going to talk about that for a little bit and one of the things that I want to mention to you is in the world of open source streaming media, there are a lot of advantages to being able to use these resources, but there's also a lot of challenges. That is why people turn to the Miracle Box as their chosen provider of open source media because not only do we give you the world's most powerful media center but you also get an entire technology team that works for you so when things go wrong such as developers leaving projects or such as code changing or such as some of the resources being blocked then we are there to either provide you with a new resource or to fix the resource for you now a lot of people who buy media centers on their own they don't have any support, they don't have any direction, and they're left to ponder on what to do next. As a Miraclebox customer, we'll never leave you hanging. So let's talk about what happened to Terrium. When you try to go in, as you see, it'll kick you out, and I'm gonna demonstrate the problem that many of you are facing, but the main reason behind that, and here's a floating theory, is that the developer has actually put a kill switch to stop resources from being streamed. Now, why would a developer do that? Well, the theory is, is that the developer may be paid off by certain providers of streaming media or certain providers who would rather you not use the free utility of the internet and make you overpay or turn back to your cable company. That's the theory. So again, sometimes the motive of developers can be bought. I can tell you one thing, Miraclebox will never be bought we're going to always be around to provide you the most affordable and the most free resources you can find out there on the internet that will allow you to get your programs and TV shows as much as you want, as much as possible. So in this case, that seemed to happen. But the good news is, is that at Miraclebox, we are professionals and we provide fixes and we provide alternatives so that you can continue to enjoy your media center, and all of the resources that are available. So let me just go over what has happened and what you are probably experiencing right now if you try to use Terrium TV. I'm gonna grab the remote and we're gonna go into Open Media Center. <clears throat> and obviously, all of this is gonna be completely normal. You're gonna see all this here. None of that is affected. But where you're going to find the trouble is, is when you try to go to the resource and you'll notice it's going to kick you out. So let's uh, give it a second here. And let me, now I got an old update here. This is a box that we're updating for one of our local customers. But even still, when you go down here to go into the app, it'll pop up and it'll kick you back out. As you see it, it'll pop up and it'll kick you back out, rendering it ineffective. But ladies and gentlemen, we have a fix. Now, I must say, the fix is something that is going to be easier to do than anything else you may see, but it has a lot of steps to it. So we're going to show you how to do this fix. And one of the reasons why we sometimes delay shipping on new orders, if you order a media center from us, sometimes the reason why we may take a little while to ship is because we might get wind of something that's going to change some of the apps. What we try to do when customers order a unit from us is we try to make sure that we have the latest updates. And sometimes things happen when your Miracle Box is on the way to you from our warehouse and we can't catch it in time. So we make these videos. So hopefully you can use videos to be able to follow and do the fixes. But in this event, if your shipping is delayed, it's because we want to do the fix for you. So we give you a unit that has already had the latest updates on it. So if you've ordered a unit and you receive it and this is not done, 
you can follow this video. We're going to walk you through. And if you get your unit later, you may find that this is already done because we were able to catch it. So ladies and gentlemen, we're going to show you the fix. We're going to do a high definition video and we're going to take it one step at a time so we can make sure that we're clear and concise and that all of you guys can follow along. If you do get stuck, we are very overwhelmed with support, but we will get back to you. I promise we will. We're just kind of overwhelmed with a lot of stuff going on, but send us a ticket. It will be a little bit of wait, but we promise we'll get back to you and it will be personal service. But try to follow this video first before sending a ticket, because if you follow this video, it's probably going to fix your issue quicker than sending a ticket since we have 30,000 tickets in queue and roughly five technicians working them. So we're going to be working uh, probably with no sleep all the way until we get every ticket. So again, uh, this is going to be a continual thing for us, but I promise you we will get back with you. So ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We're going to show you how to fix this and get your movies and TV shows on demand back from a new app that we found that is functioning much like Terrium TV. So stay tuned and you'll see the fix. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we're going to walk you through step by step on how to fix your movies and TV show app. Now, just follow along as best as you can, and we'll try to move slow so that we're not going too fast and you don't get lost because there is a lot of steps here. So without any further ado, let's begin. Now, I can say this after this video we're probably going to sell out of speed keyboard remotes or air mouses. And the reason is due to the fact of the ease of use of a feature called the cursor. Now you do have a cursor built into your standard remote, but it's not as easy to move as it is with our accessory remote, such as the speed keyboard remote and such as the wireless air mouse. So just want to kind of give you that heads up in this video. And uh, if you can <laughs> probably pause this video right now and get you a remote if we have any available. I have a feeling that they're going to go really quick due to the ease of use. So let's begin now. In any situation, the first thing you want to do is you want to hit the home button and just to make sure you're at the home. And so if you're on this screen, that means you're at the home screen if you're not make sure you put yourself on the home screen now like anything else we always want to close all apps before we do any type of deleting or moving or adding of anything so i'm going to do that for you here we want to scroll down once scroll over again and you're going to see the close app icon protrude from the rest of the icons. That's how you know that you're on the close app icon. Then you just want to press OK. And to confirm your selection, you're going to see a long black screen. And that screen is going to let you know that it has closed all available applications that could be running in the background. Now, once you see that confirmation, you are pretty much safe and you'll be defaulted back to the home tab at the very top of the screen. So the next step is we must delete Terrium TV. Okay. So again, we're going to delete Terrium TV. So what we want to do is we want to go down to settings. Now, once we are settings, we're going to press OK. And it's going to take us here. Now you'll see your network, you'll see your display, and the tab we want to go to is other. So we're going to scroll over until we get to the other tab. Once we get there, the next step is to go to the more settings tab. So we're going to go down once, then twice to more settings. Now, what we want to do is we want to find Terrium TV and we want to delete it. So we're going to press OK for apps. We're going to wait for it to pop up and then we want to find Terrium TV. Don't delete anything else, just the Terrium TV or possibly the Yes Player if you have it installed on here. So let's go to find Terrium TV and let's delete it. So 
So I'm gonna scroll over. And again, I'm keeping everything else. I just wanna delete Terrarium TV, which is right here. I wanna press okay. And we wanna go to uninstall. Once we uninstall this, it will remove it from our box. And then again, we're gonna have another step after this, but let's do this first. So hit uninstall. It's gonna ask you to confirm. You wanna say okay. And then you wanna say okay again. Now, once you hit okay, it is going to start to uninstall Terrium and you will see that it has been removed. Now, once you scroll back through and you know it's removed, then you are good to go. As you see here, I don't have it anywhere. So from this point, you're gonna hit the return key on whatever remote you have or the back key. So let's hit the return key and return ourselves all the way out to the main menu. Now, the next thing we wanna do is we have another thing we have to delete. And that is the installation file. So what we wanna do is we wanna go all the way across to all apps and we wanna go down to file browser. So we're down here to file browser and we need to delete that little installation file. Now remember when you're on file browser, what you wanna do is, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go down to local disk, you wanna press okay. And you wanna find, and well, don't go down too far, I'm sorry. Once you press okay, you wanna move your mouse here to where you see that those two checks and the three lines. So again, don't go down, move your mouse or navigate your cursor right up to here where it's highlighted in the orange. I went a little too fast, but navigate your cursor back up here so the orange is highlighted with the two checks and the dot and the three lines. Now we wanna press this and once we press OK to confirm our selection of this, we go down. Now, how you know you press it is when you go down, it will turn yellow. If it did not turn yellow, you need to go back up and press it again and make sure it turns yellow. So what we wanna do is we don't wanna touch on anything as far as pressing OK. We just wanna go down to Terrium. That's all we wanna do. So we wanna go all the way down until we get to Terrium. And once you get to Terrium, you're gonna press okay, and you're gonna see that green check mark to confirm your selection. Now, once you have confirmed your selection, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go all the way back up, and we're gonna highlight another tab on this top bar here. We're gonna highlight the tab, as you see here in orange, it has a little pencil and, a, and three little dots. We wanna Press OK when we get to that. And what we want to do is we want to move down to where it says delete. And we want to press OK. And you will see that this file is no longer here. Now, once you have done that, then you would need to scroll back over to the left. Press OK again to unselect this. And then move back over here to the home just to make sure you've done it. And this will no longer be yellow. Now from this, you just don't wanna press home. You wanna back out. So we're gonna press the back, the return button once and return button again, and it will back us all the way out to the home screen. That is the safest way to do that. You wanna leave things as you found them. So again, we successfully backed out and we're back at the home screen. So now the rest is going to be something you're familiar with, and that is using our miracle box ota which is over there updater to now download the necessary files you need and to download the build so we're going to go down we're going to go over to update miracle box how you know you have it selected is it will protrude from the rest of the application we're going to press ok and what we want to do is we want to go to the middle button first which is install miracle bill we're going to press ok and it's going to ask us local or remote we want to always choose remote we're going to press ok and then we're going to wait for this to install now for some of you it may be quick for some of you it may be slow what we're going to do is we're going to fast forward this part of the video until it completes so you can see 
the ending result that you'll get if you've done this correctly. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, once that process has completed, you will see the screen here. It will say Cody data successfully restored. That means that process has successfully completed and we can press OK to confirm. And the next thing we want to do is go to update Miracle Bill. This may take in between one minute to two minutes just to complete. So we're going to press OK. And we're going to press remote and we're going to let this kind of run through again. This part could take anywhere from one to two minutes. As you see, it moves relatively fast and um, it is going to download the necessary applications that we need to move forward. So we'll just kind of wait this out on the screen and depending on your speed or depending on the speed of your internet provider, then again, the, the time frames of these could vary. So I just want you to keep that in mind. So again, if you have you know, 15 megabytes and uh, you are using Wi-Fi, this could be slower. If you have 100 megabytes and you're directly connected in, this could probably be even faster than what I'm seeing here. So again, just a reminder, the time frames of this, of all of these could vary depending on speed. So now that that's completed, we're going to let it load and we're going to let it propagate what we ask it to do, which is to pretty much download the information. So once that has completed, you're going to see this as a confirmation update data successfully installed. Now we got the tools that we need and we've downloaded them. Now all we have to do is install everything. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in this video. So we want to press return or back and that's going to take us back to the home screen. So again, if you've messed up on any one of these steps, then you can definitely watch this video again to try to redo them. But at this point, we've successfully deleted Terrium TV from both places. And now we have downloaded not only the newest updated Miracle Build to reflect the new selections we're going to have, we also downloaded some APKs. And again, that is what we've done so far. That's just a recap. So the next step is we have to install everything. So in this process, we're going to begin to install. So we want to go over to where it says all apps. And we're going to get, we're going to go across to or down to app installer. So we're going to press OK. And it's going to say local disk. We're going to press OK. And we're going to wait. And I'm going to show you what to grab. It's only going to be two applications here. So again, you may have more or you may have less. It doesn't matter, but we're going to look for two type of applications. The first one is called Blockada. All right, we're going to need this. It's called Blockada and you're going to see why. So we're going to press OK. And we're going to install Blockada. All right, once we have installed Blockada, we're going to press down and we're going to press done. Now, the next thing we want to do is we need to install, install a app called Cyberflix. So we're going to go below this and we're going to press OK to install the Cyberflix app. So we're going to go to down and we're going to go to install and we're going to install this application. Once you've done that, then you go down to where it says done. Now we've installed both of these applications. So what we want to do is we're going to go back and that's going to put us at the home screen. Now what you want to do next is you want to go down to where it says open media center. So you're going to navigate down 
and you'll see Open Media Center will protrude from the rest of the icons. And then you want to press OK. And then from this, you just want to let everything load up. So you're going to see the Miracle Box media screen. You're going to see the all fish. You're going to see a little animation and it'll go right into the media center. Now, from this point, you simply just want to give it about 20 to 30 seconds. So everything is kind of updated. So you'll see a little message come across and you'll see the skin shortcuts in the menu. Now also notice, ladies and gentlemen, at the very bottom of the screen, we always keep you informed about different things that will happen with the streaming industry or streaming apps as it concerns the miracle box or anything. And as you see, there is a message below and some of you have seen this prior to this video coming out, letting you know that Terrium has crashed. So we're gonna always keep you informed of what's going on. That's what we do very well. We try to let people know what's going on in the streaming community. And we also are gonna work on fixes. And that's why we work around the clock for you, keeping things running that you may not be aware of. And again, this is uh, something that really um, takes a 24 hour surveillance. So again, um, pay attention to those messages down there and that's how you will be aware of what we do. So let's get, let's get to moving here. We're gonna go across and for the purposes of this action here, I'm just gonna show you what to expect. Now, as you, if you go to the right, where there used to be Terrium TV is now replaced by Cyberflix. So, if you open Cyberflix, it's not going to work yet. It's gonna do the same thing as Terrium TV did. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna click to open it. It's gonna load, but it's going to kick me out again. Now, why does that happen? Well, we explained earlier, we believe, or the theory is that the developer was compensated to kill the ability for these applications to use the scrapers. So, the developer does not own the scrapers. No one owns the scrapers. The scrapers are available websites online that literally host these different streams of different free content. What we have to do is we have to reverse what the developer did. Again, the developer was probably compensated by a third party company to do this, to force you to go back to cable or pay for movies. Well, the streaming community is much stronger than one uh, thing. And so we overcome this together. So thanks to Reddick, the website, and thanks to some of the other uh, developers out here, we have a workaround. And I'm gonna show you how to do this workaround and it's gonna take some steps, so pay close attention. And once you complete this, you will be able to unlock the scrapers and start to stream your movies again. So let's go back up and let's go all the way over to the premium app store. And we wanna go down and we do not want to go enter, we wanna to go to unblock scrapers. This is the application we downloaded that will allow us to do this. So we wanna press okay. And if you open it up for the first time, I mean, you can choose to donate if you'd like, or you could uh, skip this part. Um, in this case, we're just gonna kinda skip it, or you can press back, or you can press down below to make any selections you want. Uh, some of you may see this differently. I've opened it up, I've opened this up previously. So again, you wanna get rid of this screen, you can hit the back button. Now here is where the mouse will come in to play. Um, if you have a remote that is not one of our speed keyboard remotes, that is not one of our, let's say air mouse remotes, and you have a standard remote, then you're gonna have a cursor feature on there. I'm gonna put a little video or a little picture down on the bottom left part of the screen so you can see. What you wanna do from here is you wanna hit the cursor button and you wanna hit the okay button and then you can actually scroll up or scroll down and it will actually appear on your screen like this. As you see, I'm scrolling up, I'm scrolling down and I can navigate with this cursor. It's just a whole lot slower than the other cursor, but it still works. 
all right now because I have the keyboard remote which is this right here I am not going to fiddle with this and this is why I say after this keyboard remote is going to sell very quickly so I'm going to put this remote down here and we're going to remove the graphic off the screen at the bottom and again once you have that cursor on you just have to press the cursor and OK. Now, if you have a regular remote, you know your cursor is already standardly working. So what we need to do is we need to navigate up to this list here called one in blacklist. So it's going to default and say one in blacklist. So what you want to do is you want to go up here and you want to use your mouse and you want to select it. And so I've selected that and it will take me to this funny looking screen with all of these different things on here. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't care about any of this. So what you want to do is you want to navigate your mouse all the way down and you want to get to this little plus right here. You see this little plus circle right here? Want to highlight it? You want to get to that little plus circle right there. Then you want to press OK or you want to just press... Uh, you want to tap your mouse to open that up and it's going to open it up to this window here. Now this is a tricky part for those of you who have the standard remote. What you want to do at this point is you want to move your remote all the way up to where it says host and you want to click that and what we're going to do is we're going to type in the main website that we want to open all the hosters on and I'm going to give you that website I'm going to put it down here at the bottom of the screen so type this in you can move your mouse here and if you have a regular remote if you press this it'll open up the keyboard and then you can actually you know select the letters with the remote or you can actually remove the remote and you can actually just start moving your cursor to select the letters like uh, well it's a little tricky if you click on this you can you if you have a standard remote you can use that to select the first letter and then you can start moving and navigating to select other letters now I don't have this well, I do have the standard remote but I'm not using it and this is why the keyboard remotes or the additional remote accessories are such a time saver so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna type in the website and again I'm gonna put it down below you wanna type in blog dot n I T R O X E N O N dot com. Now, once you have done that, you want to click save. Now, make sure you have it in correctly. Make sure you check the letters, and they're at the bottom of the screen here for your convenience. Make sure you have typed this in exactly as I've written it. If you miss a letter, it's not going to work. If you don't put a dot, it's not going to work. So make sure you have this in exactly as I have typed it. Next thing you want to do is you want to go to save. So I want to save it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit the back button or return button on whatever remote you have. And we're going to go down to this little button here to the bottom right and we're going to use our mouse and we're going to turn it on now right now it's off because it's white and again use the mouse to navigate we're going to turn it on and it will turn yellow and you'll see a, a, a notification that says blockade wants to set up a VPN connection that allows it to monitor network traffic only except if you trust the source appears at the top of the screen when VPN is active so you want to press OK now let me explain something before we press OK Blockada is not a standard VPN it is basically a site unblocker virtual private network that allows you to stream with the scraper so this is not the protective VPN that you can use but it is a VPN to allow you to remain anonymous so you can use scraper so you it, I would still recommend getting a VPN and we're going to go over that in later videos but don't think this is a VPN that protects you from everything it is just a VPN that keeps you anonymous for scrapers 
um, so you can use them, but you can still be uh, detected in some form. But we'll we'll talk about VPNs because we do have one that we recommend. So let's hit OK. Now, once we've done that, or we've completed that, you'll notice up here where it says two and blacklist. So it was one, now it's two. And if your screen looks like this, you've done this successfully. So what we're going to do is we're going to back out. And what we're going to do now is we're going to make sure we did this correctly. So we're going to go over and we're going to go back here to Cyberflix. I'm going to go down and we're going to make sure this works. So cross your fingers. Let's go in. If it works, it will allow us to continue. If it doesn't, then you will see that it will kick you directly out. So we're going to click here. We're going to go OK. And as you see, it is now allowing us access to this app. So all we have to do is go over and we got to press accept. And this should be standard. And if you want to make sure that your MX player is available, you want to scroll up here to the three lines right here. And you want to click it and you want to go to settings. And you want to make sure that your player is MX player. So how do we do that? We're going to go down to choose default player and we want to press OK and we want to use the MX player. Again, we do not want to use these default players because they're going to not be as smooth as MX player and they may cause buffering and they may cause freezing. We want a smooth experience. So again, always go down to use the MX player. We're going to press OK and we're going to press back and now we have our MX player ready to go and let me just make sure this is working you want to press ok here go down to movies and we're just going to test a movie I'm going to press it as normal get our selection and we're just going to press play and we'll press got it here now we've already changed players so you don't have to worry about that click got it here and remove this and let's see if it gives us some choices. So give it some, give it a minute. It's going to scrape for some uh, resources. And again, the longer you give this, the more resources will be available. And we just want to give it some time to scrape for resources. So, you know, I would say give it a little time. And as you see, because I'm giving it some seconds here, it is able to go out and get me more and more resources. And um, again, you have... As you see, these resources are smaller, so they'll be able to work a lot better. Um, and again, most of them are under a gig. And so we're going to go down here. We're going to go to I'm just going to do one that's in HD and I'm going to press OK and I'm going to press play and we're going to wait. And if we've done this successful, then it will start to play our movie. Again, it's going to load here. Give it some time. And again, if this takes a long time, you can always select another link. You guys know how this works. Uh, it basically scrapes for movies. So again, if this one is taking a little long to load, then we can always select another choice. So let's just see uh, how it goes here. So this is taking a sweet little time to load. So let me just go to another link. Let's see if this one loads a little bit faster. There we go. So that one loaded better. So again, not every link will load quicker. Not every link will load slow. It just depends. Again, this was an HD feed, so the file was probably bigger, and it took a longer time for the MX player to decode it. But as you see, everything is back up in working order, and you should be able to do all your normal functions. Yes, you will have to redo your favorites. So again, if you have TV shows that you like to look at, you know, you can actually go here and you can watch your TV shows. Again, it's just all about just navigating through here. And there's TV shows here. And so you can find your TV shows, you can do your searches and everything is back to normal. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this should be working for you. If you have any trouble, you can contact support. But let me just let you know, there is going to be a wait due to the fact 
that we have 30,000 tickets in queue, which is pretty much a large percentage of our customers. So it will take us anywhere between 48 hours to 72 hours to be able to uh, give you personal assistance due to the fact that we're gonna be working probably for the next four days with no sleep, making sure we got everyone. So if it takes us a while, please be patient with us. We just don't uh, have the, um, the volume in staff to handle as many customers. And because we do give personal assistance, we can sometimes spend up to an hour and sometimes we spend two hours with customers. So if we do <laughs> 24 customers, sometimes it could take a day just to reach 24 customers. And again, it's five of us that uh, you may get, you may get myself or you may get another person. And we do have our Spanish speaking liaison um, that many of you have not met yet. Her name is Juvia. And so if you speak Spanish, uh, she can uh, address you as well. And um, again, just send a support ticket. Let us know if you're English speaking or Spanish speaking, if you need help. But my advice to you is to follow this video. It's going to be quicker. No one wants to wait, you know, two to three days for support. And again, we apologize for the wait. It's just the fact that we're giving personal assistance and it's going to take time and we want to make sure people work right. And sometimes, you know, we get high volume. Now, Remember to do one important thing. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. This way you know when we put out videos. This way you know when we put out fixes. If you're new and you've never seen the Miracle Box before, this is your first time seeing it. As you know, we take care of our customers. Our customers do not have to go through all the mumbo jumbo and just do all this research and do things that might seem complicated. We make it easy, we make it quick, and we make it as feasible as possible. So hopefully this video was easy enough for you to follow and we'll have this posted on our help site. And remember, our help site is www.miracleboxhelp.com. You can find this video on here and you can also submit a ticket if you have trouble. Again, it's going to take us a little while to get to you, but we will get to you. With that, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy your Saturday. And this is The Fix for October 5th. And be sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks so much. And we'll see you in the next video.